the four amigos maiden chase then a huge field for this three mile five furlong maiden and about 21 of them all together and the top one is agent blur obi-wan bonbon of borgon martin Lidham, sharma blur daniel french corsican boy Stu gray coupe de ville de warren kakuta guapa a ojua loss eyes to the right ground Peter book greensbank park ghost zapper it marbo darren thompson Malisonia laz jamie hopkins no half Derek hinton the put car arrogante alti alternative Molly at Surfer, Assembled of Forces, Paul Rhodes, Blood of My Blood, Leon Van Rensburg, W again, Kevin Minahan, Eye Catching, Darren Howes, Princess Peach, David Robertson, Stoke Hill, James Follis, Summershaw, Jim Murray, and the Mighty Eight, Joshua Sutherland. So, 21 then. And the two of these are probably going to get caught wide on this opening bend. But, uh, plenty of time to make up any early deficit with a three mile, five furlong trip. To negotiate and 22 fences to get over and assemble the forces and princess peach the first two to show but greensback park has been driven up on their outside to come and take it up as they take the first and something's gone there it's mansonia laz has gone so mansonia laz is out at the very first fence jockey embedded in the fence as they take number two and they're all over that one safely this time and greensback park in the ghost zapper john morgan colors is in the lead from agent blue in a yellow in second and the put is quite on the track in third as they take number three and towards the back of the field you can see the gray and the pink is no half and stoke hill in the formula on folly silks blue at the back so settling down to a reasonable sort of pace then in this three mile five furlong event and greens bank park is in the lead by a good three lengths as they come past the winning post and go off on the next circuit they've got two more two more laps to go and Greensbank Park is the leader by about four to eighty alternative second Asian Blue is third and Mighty Eight is four then the Put and Coupe de Ville and Corsican Boy and Blood of My Blood and then Eyes to the right and then Assemble the Forces and W again and Princess Peaches after that uh, bon bon a bon bon a racing on its own and then a gap behind them of summer Shaw, kakita guapa it marbo no half and finally stoke hill so racing down towards the next end and it looks like we might be getting a little bit of jockey cam action as we're on the back of summer Shaw, which is jim murray's horse you can see bon bon a bon going on the inside in the orange and one on the outside there I think will be um, Eat Marbo as they take the next I think we lost one there yes we did we lost two in fact Assemble the Forces and Coupe de Ville have both gone there while we were in jockey cam mode and so the field is now down to three less than it was when they set off and oh, that one there Greensbank Park very nearly went as well so too did Eat Marbo I think towards the back of the field and one or two Slightly if he jumps by these chases as they come down to the next and the leader jumped it okay that time. And the field is over that one safely. With Greens Bank Park now three lengths to the good. Over Asian Blur in a yellow in second, and a gap of about another three lengths to Sharma Blur in third. After that one is the Mighty Eight. And then W again, AT alternative is also close up. Blood of my blood wide on the track. With eyes to the right, even wider still is Summer Short. I'm looking towards the back, Kakuita Guapa and no half of the back two at this stage of the race. But there's still a long way to go, well over two miles still to race, and Greenbank Park leads by three to Agent Blur in second. The Mighty Eight is in third place, then Sharma Blur is four. AT Alternative is next in W again. After that one, the put is next, and in between them, Corsican Boy. With blood of my blood wide on the track, and Bonbon of Borgon on the inside. As they take that one, and they all jump that one nicely as well. Although no half is finding the pace a little bit tough as they take the next. And over that one they go, slow jump by Gaquita Guapa towards the back as well. But Greensbank Park leads. Agent Blur second, the Mighty Eight third as they take the next. And over that one they go, and a mistake this time by princess peach towards the back of the field has seen that one shuffle back a little bit they're coming over the next one and she jumped it okay that time and kakuita guapa left her back legs in it as well but greenbank park is the leader as they come up then past the furlong pole and 
the stung and the assembled throng in the crowd as they swing now left handed out on one more circuit of this Worcester track and Greensbank Park will hope to be in the lead next time around Agent Blur is travelling nicely in second the Mighty 8 is third the put has always been close up in fourth and it looks like no half isn't going to go out on this final circuit and it's going to make its way back towards the saddling boxes but Greensbank Park is heading for home in the lead with Agent Blur second so race away from us you can see that Kikwita Guapa is just a couple of lengths adrift of the others now and that one is in fact being pulled up so another one out then and Greensbank Park is the leader so they take this next one with the put making good ground on the outside of Agent Blur. Mighty 8 has been there all the time. Sharma Blur is also going well. So two's eyes to the right. Blood of my blood as well. And W again has always been pretty close up. Corsican boys also running a good race as they take the next one. And towards the back, Stoke Hill is just about the back marker now with Princess Peach. But Greensbank Park had it pretty much its own way up the, up the top end most of the race. The come to this next one is now being challenged though by the put and the mighty eight then w again and agent blur and blood of my blood and eyes to the right is also still there plenty of chances they take the 17th and the put may have just landed in the lead that time the one that made a mistake towards the back was old t alternative but it's the put who's the leader the put's now gone on by about a length to greens bunk park he might just be put getting a breather into that one because he still seems to be going well as they take the next good jump there by greens bunk park comes back up on the inside and greens bunk park on the put are about a length and a half clear of the mighty eight then blood of my blood sweeping around the outside now is it marbo getting the first serious mention but it's the put who's in the lead from greens bunk park it Marbo sweeps around the outside as they begin to head homeward. Five furlongs to race, and suddenly the whole complexion of the race changes as it Marbo sweeps into a half length lead. It Marbo from Greensbank Park, then the put. The one that's dropping back a little bit is the Mighty Eight. Then comes W again, Blood of My Blood and Corsican Boy. Not much else is going to get into this now, but it Marbo's gone clear. It Marbo has gone three, four lengths clear now of Greensbank Park, who suddenly looks one pace. Then comes the Mighty Eight. This is the fourth last. Over that one they go, and it Marbo landed in the lead. It Marbo by a good four lengths to Greensbank Park in second. This is the third last. It Marbo skips over it nicely. Now running on again is the Mighty Eight. It's gone into second. Greensbank Park is still there in third. Then Blood of My Blood. Nothing else is going to get into this. Princess Peach is trying to run on though. But It Marbo at the second last. Over it he goes. It Marbo's in the lead from Greensbank Park on the Mighty Eight. Then Blood of My Blood. One more fence to take. A furlong and after race. Over it they go. And It Marbo lands in the lead. Mistake by the Mighty Eight. But is It Marbo. Now Blood of My Blood is the one that's trying to challenge. But It Marbo. He's still clear a furlong to race. It's it Marbo by two and a half lengths. It Marbo from Blood of My Blood, Greensbank Park, and then the Mighty Eight W again and Princess Peach. But it Marbo, he's going to hang on to this one and win it quite cosily in the end up towards the line. It Marbo takes the opening race on day two. Greensbank Park is second. The Mighty Eight is third. Blood of My Blood four. W again five. Then Princess Peach was after that one on the third. We'll trail back to I Catcher who was the last one to finish. But it's a win for it Marbo and Darren Thompson. Greensbank. Park second for Ghost Zapper, the Mighty Eight for Joshua Sullivan was third, Blood of My Blood, Leon Van Rensburg was fourth, and W again was fifth for Kevin Minahan.